One more step, and your brains will be about as useful as gator bait. The continent welcomes us with such hospitality, doesn't it? Beg pardon, my good man. Is the bank closed for some time? As long as it takes Mr. Blackman to come back from Baton Rouge with more dollars. Who were robbed? Not hardly. We had a jewel sale. When might one expect Mr. Blackman to return? He likely could come back most any day, but he'll be gone three days at least. Is there anyone else who could shed some light on this transaction? You see, we have come from Europe and are interested in a particular set of precious stones. It may well prove to be this same set your bank sold recently. I ain't talking, and I don't know nothing about it anyhow. There is one feller. Goes by the name of Champagne. He's Cajun. He knows everything that goes on around these parts. You can most likely find him near a pile of planks at the end of the pier. Everything has its price in America. Isn't that what they say? With open arms, Watson? Napoleon, Lafayette. Don't mind the dogs, they just don't take to the smell of gentle folks, especially foreign ones. So what can old Champagne do for you? How's about some planks for your boat, or maybe a ride in Gator's bath? Some other time, perhaps. People say that you know everything that occurs in this area. Maybe so. Don't care much what them people say. What you want to know? We are particularly interested in a recent transaction in precious stones. No doubt you are familiar with these events. For sure that's true. Now that you say it, I reckon I heard of some swap for jewels. I would help you out, but my poor brains like the train with no coal. What you want me to do? Now there's a bottle of some champagne or this and that. Old champagne will have a thing or two to say to you. Speaking of that, it come to me true. It was a week ago, maybe two. A butler working for a rich man made himself a jewel trade to honor and co. Looks like business to be done fast and with a quiet way. By my foot, the truth is here now. The name of the employer of this silent partner? He go by the name uh, Honison. He from far up the bayou into the east. He got some crazy notions, that and They must be all like that where he come from. No doubt. One other matter. During the last few days, have you noticed any strange ship movements, especially regarding those taking leave of port late at night? You did right by old Champagne, so I tell you true. Five days ago, a ship, she weighed anchor in the middle of the night. She took sail right after a mess of folks brought a lot of boats to meet her and charged on board. These all came from the swamps. Could be toting contraband. Anyway, left for the old world for sure. Old Champagne keeps to his own self. No reason to know nothing more. And advice to you, stay clear. Those that sticks their nose where it don't belong end up feeding the gators round these parts. We shall consider ourselves duly warned. Good day. And if you wants to go for a ride in the bayou or something else, old Champagne treats you right. I take dollars, or bottles of you-know-what, right?
Holmes, our bag! Thief! Stop! Thief! Stop! There he is. He's there! Stop! Stop right there, you two. Not a move. But the thief, he is going to... Thief? What thief? 
All I see are two foreigners tearing up my wharf, making a lot of noise. I expect you have some sort of papers proving who you are and what business you have in my parish. I assume you have proof you're here legally. What? Of course we have papers in our bag. But that villain, he... Well, upon my word, you allowed him to make off with our bag. What are you insinuating, sir? Are you trying to offend me? Gentlemen, look here. Calm down, Watson. But can't you see that... Watson? See, you are Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson. Please, spare us the pretense. You know very well who we are. And a clever fella in the bargain. <laughs> listen to me and listen up good, Mr. Holmes and Dr. Watson. You will leave tomorrow morning for Europe on the same ship that brought you here. No need to offload your bags. Just turn around and get back on board. Nothing good will come your way if you ignore my advice. Oh, and one more thing. Without proper papers, you're nothing more than outlaws here in New Orleans. And outlaws end up as gator bait in my parish. <laughs> With open arms, was it, Watson? Holmes, enough. It seems they were warned of our arrival and waiting for us. Let's find the wealthy side of the city and the house of this Arneson. Come, Watson, time is not our friend. Watson, let's pay a visit to this Arneson. Ah, Watson, it seems we have arrived at the place. Look there, on the iron door. Looks like no one is here, Holmes. It's a pity, Watson. This is our only lead. Good morning, miss. Please, don't be alarmed. We won't harm you, my dear. What is your name? Eula, sir. Lovely. When we arrived here, you were looking through this gate. This is the residence of Mr. Arnson, isn't it? Do you know him? Yes, sir. Do you know if he is at home? Don't rightly know, sir. <laughs> Watson, come now. Don't distress yourself like this. Why all these tears? Because of my little brother, Davy. He serves with Mr. Arneson and been more than five days since I heard from him. Perhaps he went on a trip with Mr. Arneson. No, sir. Dang likely. I serves at the Gallagher's just the other side of the road. If they had left, I would have seen them. Something bad has happened. I can feel it. But if you were so near... Surely your brother would have cried out for help if there had been any real danger. No, sir. Davy, he ain't like you and me. He's right smart in some ways. But Davy can't talk. Not a word. Besides, most evenings, we visits and sees each other across the stable door. And been more than five days since he'd been there. Oh, sir. I'd be mighty scared. Something has happened to him. I just know it. <laughs> Miss, take us to this stable. Watson, I think this place is indeed isolated and therefore quite vulnerable. There be. I'm going to go wait on the road. That way, if my mistress calls for me, I can hear. 
It is hardly secure, Watson. Regard the lock. It has a primitive wooden latch, which is also quite flimsy. Bravo, Holmes! Holmes, this horse is dying of thirst. Poor animal. He has had no water for these past five days, Watson. Unbearable. This should prove useful. I hope this gate is not locked, because it appears quite formidable. Open! Observe, Watson. These beautiful, well-tended flowers. Someone must care for them. Water. What a wretched smell, Holmes. Quite wretched, Watson. It is the foul stench of death. Watson, hold the basin. I think you know what to do with it. Easy now, fellow. Drink up. What could this be doing here? Here you are, Watson. 